Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make organic cracks over a model more realistic than uh, classic uh, strike cuts and also how to generate uh, uh, fragments with a specific uh, shape you want for this we are going to use the boolean modifier in 3 Max and the pull down plugin to uh, improve the result and make it more realistic so let's start we are going to draw our uh, cracks over the model using the freehand tool in 3D Max, but we cannot do it in this view because uh, it is not going to work correctly. We have to change to a uh, front view or do it over a construction plane. This is where it's uh, going to front view, and here I start uh, drawing our uh, cracks. Very important, the splines start and end outside of the model for the Boolean modifier to cut the model properly later. So let's draw several uh, cracks. You can do it uh, following the seams of the texture if you like. It's, it is very handy to do it in this view. You can follow the seams very easily. So let's create a set of uh, cracks over the model. And now let's uh, select all our uh, splines and create a group from them. And this is going to be the, the base uh, shapes for our cutting uh, planes for the boolean modifier but uh, we need another set of splines for the pull down it plugin to improve the result uh, afterwards so let's uh, duplicate the spline group and create another one for pull down it but this group we need in the case of pull down it we need the splines to be very close to the model uh, touching the surface so let's move the spline uh, very close to the model and let's hide them because we don't need it for now and let's start cutting the model with the boolean modifier uh, for this select uh, our splines and let's add an extrude modifier to them okay extrude modifier here we are nice and we have our cutting shapes let's add uh, some noise to make them more realistic uh, noise modifier make it fractal and start uh, modifying the strength to make it uh, more rough more realistic uh, now we have our uh, cutting shapes perfect so now let's go to uh, start cutting the model select it and add a boolean modifier here we are, Mo boolean modifier uh, but we have to uh, open the group because the boolean modifier doesn't work with uh, all shapes at once so open the group so we can select it uh, shape separately okay and now let's go to we are ready to start uh, cutting the model select click on split and select any of the cutting shapes ah very important uh, by default uh, use material is enabled and this is going to be problematic to uh, generate uh, UVs for the cutting faces later so better to disable uh, use uh, material 
and in this way we can uh, map the cat faces uh, easily. I will show you how to do it. So select our cat shapes and here we are, the model has been split in several fragments. We have just to separate uh, separate the, the fragments, click on create objects and here we are, we have our fragments uh, created. Let's isolate this one, I'm going to show you how to remap the cut faces. So now uh, we have the cut faces are, are mapped, are, but we, have, we can uh, select by material ID, we can select the original faces and this is because we haven't used the <coughs> original material of the model and just by inverting the selection we get the cut faces and we can uh, map them as we want independently without affecting the original original uh, faces. Nice, we have our cut faces correctly, correctly mapped and this is the same for the rest of the fragments. So now we are ready to start. Let's check the fragments with pull on it plugin, set them as rigid bodies and uh, simulate the scene. And good, it's fine. The fragments are falling and colliding each other, but this is not very realistic. We are going to improve the result, adding uh, refining the cracks with the pull on it plugin and shutter it too. First, let's make visible our splines again. The, the splines we, we did for uh, refining the the cracks let's uh, make them visible in the viewport and now we have our splines we are going to use them with a shutter tool pulled on it to uh, create dynamic cracks uh, more debris on our model so open shutter tool in pulled on it and first thing uh, set path base shadow style and let's select our uh, splines and click on draft mode now you can see the cloud of points as more points uh, more chipping on the model let's shut it and let's do the same with the fragment at the other side of the crack, uh, select it, drag mode, we can adjust the extent of the, the width of the crack, click on shadow it, and we have created uh, more debris chipping along the along our uh, along our spline. Let's simulate this uh, in dynamics, uh, select a fragment, open basic fractures in pull on it, click on create fracture body and click on OK. Now let's uh, adjust the dynamic properties. Let's remove clusterize because we want uh, this to mostly generate a, a small debris, not uh, separating large chunks of the model and let's uh, click on play the simulation and here we are you can see uh, debris falling from the our ori original original uh, organic crack let's improve the result this is a matter of adjust the hardness to make it more weak, we can get more large fragments detaching, let's reduce it uh, around uh, 50, 50 units 
and let's uh, simulate again. Ah, nice. Now I get a much better, more realistic re result. So it's a matter of adjust hardness to get the result you, you like. So I like it. Uh, let's go to do the same with the rest of the of the fragments. Delete the fractal body and shader again the model along our uh, splines. Select the the next spline we want to to use as a guide for creating the cracks. Select our fragment. Nice, we get our cloud of points and shade it. Do the same with the fragment at the other side. And uh, continue doing the same thing for all the cracks. We want to generate debris from them. Select the fragment, click on shade it and same at the other side. Finally, do it with the last one. Select the spline, select the fragment, and this is very large, so increase the number of uh, shards. And do the same for with the fragment at the other side, as we did before. So here we are. Now we have all our uh, cracks uh, improved, improved, and let's create our fractal body and uh, simulate again in dynamics to see the result. Okay, nice. Now we get a realistic result of the extrusion of the model with uh, the original organic cracks and secondary cracks and uh, debris on top of it. Like it, very nice. We can get the, you can see the debris detaching from the model and also some secondary cracks being created alongside the original uh, cuts we did with the boolean modifier. Uh, the green faces are the pulled on it uh, secondary crack uh, faces. They are still uh, they are too, too, too flat but we can improve them as well to make them more realistic using the uh, Jagginess modifier in pulled on it. Just select the fragment and set it open the add Jagginess tool, set a resolution about three or four and asymmetric faces to get less polygons and click on add Jagginess and you can see now we get uh, rough faces uh, and edges on the on the fragments. Uh, for the material, you can apply the same material of the original model or a different material if you like. Uh, let's uh, modify the material to make it uh, look uh, more similar to the original material. And uh, this is it. We have our uh, we have two add jagginess. There are other fragments which are still too flat, so let's add jagginess to them as well. And this is it, the uh, final result, uh, creating organic cracks with the boolean modifier and adding secondary cracks and debris with the pull down plugin. Hope you like it. Bye.